Last time we left off at the family farm in the exploration zone, we had so much fun over there with the ponies and the goats. But now we had this really big animal to meet. Okay, here we have Keeper Katie working with Gahadi. He is a very big male rhino. And right now she is doing a little bit of training to help him be more comfortable with some of his health care, right? So we just saw Katie is having Gahadi present his feet so we can get a better look at how his uh, toenails are doing to make sure they're, they're in healthy shape, no cracks, make sure his foot pads are nice and healthy. And as you can see, he's working with her just fine. So if you look at his body, it looks as though he has like this armor plating. This is basically a tank that you would find out there in, in Asia. So that those armor platings, what they are, they have these little folds of really thick skin that keep them protected from any predator that might want to bug them. But as a, at this size, there's not any predators that would really want to bug them, except maybe tigers once they're smaller. They might go after young rhinos. Okay, so if you look at his face, you see the bit of his horn, looks like it's been filed down. Well, actually, Gahadi does that himself. He will rub all over his enrichment in his exhibit, and it keeps it nice and filed down on its own. Now, some people assume the zoo files it down to make sure he stays protected from, like, poachers or anything like that, but he actually keeps it filed down himself. Now, rhino horns are actually made of something very similar to human fingernails and human hair. It's actually just a protein called keratin. All right, so Katie was just about to finish up her training. I was having so much fun and she said, hey, Jordan, do you want to come over here and feed him? I was like, of course I do. Let's go ahead and do that and have some fun. Hi, how are you doing today? Good, hi, I'm Katie. Katie, so you're a keeper here with this big guy yes, here. Yes, this is Gahadi. Okay. And you can feed him I'm as feeding well. I'm awesome. Yeah. He's 27 years old. Uh-huh. And he came up here when he was about two and a half from San Diego Zoo Safari Park. Awesome. So he's been here most of his life and I grew up with him. <laughs> so how much does he eat? He's a day, he's a big boy. Yeah, so we don't have a scale currently for him, but we estimate between five to 6,000 pounds. His mom was close to 6,000 pounds. Mm -hmm. um, and we feed him between 75 to 100 pounds of food. A day? Yeah, a day. <laughs> so about 50, <laughs> 60 pounds of it is grass hay. Another 20 pounds or so is just greens, celery, romaine, dandelion chard are some of his favorites. Yeah. Um, and then he gets a pelleted feed to make sure any vitamins or minerals he might be missing. He could get in through that daily. And yeah. then a lot of tree branches, usually oh, in the awesome. acacia family. But we have a, a whole list that are uh, specialty brows he's approved for, too, that we also give him throughout the day. What's his favorite food, do you think? Definitely the dandelion Thank and you. the chard. Um, for specialty brows, definitely really likes comprosma and escalonia as well. Comprosma. Yeah. What is that? Um, it's actually growing up in that. It's kind of like a little shrub sort of Oh, plant. right below the tree there. Right I below see. that eucalyptus tree yeah, in yeah. that planter box. He really likes it. Thank so. you. How long have you worked with this big man here in yeah. front of us? I've been working with him pretty much my whole time as a keeper in the hoofstock department. So about 2014, 2015. I've been working with Gahadi. So he has a pretty good relationship with you. Definitely, yeah, yeah. We He definitely responds to a lot of us Sorry. keepers, our voices. Mm -hmm. Rhinos, their eyesight's not as good as right. their sense of hearing. So a lot of times when he hears our voices calling his name, you'll see the ears moving. A lot of times he'll get up if he's lying down and come over. He loves to train and he... Um, it's a great way for him to participate in his own health care. So mm -hmm. we can do voluntary blood draws off him. We can look at all of his feet and his foot pads. Uh, he gets his vaccines all voluntarily as well each year. So yeah. yeah, and it's good, you know, bond for us as well as good mental and physical stimulation for him too. Awesome. I did want to ask, mm -hmm. so with his giant head, I'm noticing yes. <laughs> some things that the males that I used to be around a lot uh -huh. didn't have just yet. What's going on with all the little, little, uh, looks, they almost look like growths. Yeah, so it is interesting. His lineage is really big. Like when I've met other greater one horns, they've, they're usually not this tall. Mm -hmm. um, he's very tall, but he's so is his, his mom and dad, and I think his siblings as well. And these are kind of a debate. I've heard some keepers say like that back one there uh -huh. is like kind of a second horn growth. Right. Um, 
I'm not really sure if they're horn, extra horn or keratin growths, mm -hmm. or if there might just be kind of more calluses. He plays really rough. Right. Um, but he breaks them off and they grow back just like that. So I'm I, not 100% sure which I was one to classify, talking, but some people say they think it's extra keratin growths. Yeah, I was talking to a keeper friend of mine, Chad, who, who believes, he. Well, he's also uncertain. He had the same yeah. answer you did. And I think he said the same thing you did. So oh. it just seems like there's still so much in science oh, that definitely. we don't know about. Yeah. And, That's he, awesome. and some of them, they look different. I was looking at a different rhino from mm -hmm. another zoo with it. And it did look more similar to the, the horn where yeah. it, than this one does. Yeah, That's yeah. Why it's, 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 it's always still, yeah. There's still so much more to know about greater one right. rhinos and rhinos <laughs> in general. Well, thank you so much for your time today yeah, and, and, and showing off this beautiful boy and uh, being a voice for him and Definitely. being an ambassador. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Sweet. Good boy, Gahadi. Okay.